So here we go. We got Jared hitting for us. This is the main screen for the hitting side. Um, we have a couple different screens here. We're getting location. We're getting um, the field. We're getting distance. Um, as Jared hits it, we're going to catch this in real time with the hit tracks. And what I like about this is we're getting feedback directly on everything from exit speed to launch angle. We have the number of hits that he's had, the spin rate. Um, it's categorizing it. You can see how it's growing um, and it's going to build a profile on his hitting as he go through his session. So if we can take data for the athletes and condense it down into very small ideas to help them understand what is working and what isn't working, that is the translation of what these units do for the players. And so, for, for example, Jared here, we've got some hitting. Jared's gonna have some exit velo around 82. Um, his spin rate's 1994. That means he's being square on the ball. I'm interested to see what happened if, if Jared could get the ball up a little bit and see what the spin rate would do. It would direct, directly affect the distance. 85, launch angle, 10 degrees, distance at 141. Jared, can we get one, buddy? Can we get one up? Jared. Very nice swing, Jared. Piece that one up. You can see how it load instantaneously. 25 launch angle, 264. Beautiful. Spin rate, 38.31 right there. That was interesting. Notice on the right side, it actually is auto categorizing each swing as it goes, right? So it automatically knows it's a ground ball, line drive, fly ball, pop up. That's gonna go through and probably show at the end of the report. Okay, so we're gonna switch over here to Eric Lopez. Eric, the little guy that he is, is a lot of pop on my left-handed guy right here. Right-handed thrower, left-handed swinger. Let's see what Eric's uh, gonna be able to do here in comparison to Jared. Eighty-two eight. Very nice. 194, 97. We got 221. Interesting, we're showing a discrepancy between the hit tracks and the track man, showing a big difference in, in pop there. Even on the low ones. So with, with this definitely shows that with data that all things are relative, right? You have two different systems measuring the ball in two different locations. And so things that can be real may not necessarily be real. So that ball went 257. And Trackman missed it. There we go. Okay, here's our new favorite screen um, on this. Is, this is the 3D model that's going to give us the, the info that we need here. Um, the beep tells us that we got it. That one was a beautiful swing. Eric getting through the baseball. 84, 83. Single up the middle. This is pretty cool too. You can go between all the different um, angles on it. You can go from the batter's view. This is from Eric's eyes. Right here, that was a foul ball. Did not catch it. Boom, nice hit. We got it. There's a pop-up right there. Nice, not bad. Let's change the view to top view. This is kind of fun too, a little spray chart idea. Really like this too. This is gonna give a little bit more of averages. Inside of this, we can show different balls. We can group them. Very nice. I'm gonna switch over here to Ryan Lee now. Okay, so video screen here, very interesting. Um, it's gonna capture the video simultaneously um, and it's just gonna keep the flow of it. So as Ryan's go through his swings, you can see we've got a camera set up right here on the side that's helping him capture what he needs, which is great, this is awesome. Hitters get to see exactly what they're doing on their swing. And then the awesome part about this video is it uploads to the TrackMan cloud service, which is accessible on an iPad pretty much from anywhere if you can get into the account. So huge process for what uh, we, we see in the baseball world where we're making things extremely efficient, which is really what technology should do. Technology should make it so you can just train 
and then access the data as you go and go look at your swing so you can visualize what you were doing and thinking or stop in the middle of it and break it down. You can do everything with track on this. I believe that you can draw on the screen so we can go in here and watch this last video from Ryan and draw some angles, see the launch angle, check his back, rotate here. This is a very valuable tool to all baseball players.